What's up guys? Welcome back to my hardcore. Uh, as you can see, well, you should be able to see that uh, I am in my creative world. Uh, you can see my little village of farm testing facility over there. And this is the, uh, well, it's just a quick mock-up of my train station that I uh, started last episode. Uh, basically, I wanted to see if I could do what I was talking about uh, in, my la in the last episode, where I wanted to be able to put down a cart, and then the back pops up, and then the tracks here are uh, are now powered. Um, this is about as good as I can make it with my own abilities. Uh, as you can see, you get in the cart, you push a little bit forward, and you take off. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's uh, well, you know, simple for uh, for me. So I assume it'd be simple for anybody who understands redstone at all. It does take off the or take the building out one block, but. Uh, I've disguised it pretty well by this um, lovely pillar. Uh, the The first little section here is not actually this close, but you can just ignore that bit. That was me just working on some other designs. My tracks are already, well, I have two tracks built already. I just wanted to show you guys the final product. Uh, there is a different block here because I was sort of, um, I was having problems with the double half slab block here. Uh, sometimes the power tracks would not stay on all the way, and um, I wouldn't go off, but I think it was just some weird bug at the current time, so I think what I will be doing is, oops, not that, but uh, putting in double slabs like that so you don't see them, and it's a little bit more masked. There is um, detective tracks coming on the way back because these tracks do need to work both ways, so as I'm riding back, I want them to activate, that way it pushes me over and um, I land right there. It will push me up as well. <laughs> Once I go over this one, it'll push me up, and, but then I come back down. So I'll show you the, um, the very simple redstone that'll work inside of my, uh, my area. Basically, when you get onto the detector rail, it pushes down the redstone block and powers on uh, this right here and puts power to both tracks. I'll go put a card up here so you guys can see that happen. So you can see it's now pushed down, and then the track goes. The um, well, it pushes up this one. This one will not go. Uh, so it pushes up the one that uh, that it, that the cart is on. So if I get rid of this one and put it over here, it pushes up that one. Now, excuse me, creeper. Do, do you want to go on the cart? Oh, let's see if we can't. Ah, uh, it's going to be difficult with a block there. Let's see if we can't push him into it. If we push him into the corner, no, oh man, get out of the corner. Okay, well, whatever. Um, you can see that it only pushes up the piston that the cart goes up on, or the cart that it, it, it is on. Uh, I, can, <laughs> I would love to be able to tell you guys the reasoning behind that, but I just don't know. In fact, it may even be the detector rail, oh, shit they're powering the piston and not these lines right here are actually not doing anything um yeah now that i'm actually th I'm, I'm looking at it and thinking about it that might actually be what's happening here so let's uh let's do a little test huh so let's just say that that doesn't get powered right there and then it's just that okay all right so i did i did do something my sounds are completely off let me turn those back on. Um, okay, cool. So I did do something. I did do something right, guys. <laughs> I thought I was just putting stuff down, and I was I was thinking that it would work, but um, no, there we go. So uh, it's pretty simple. I like it. It's clean, and um, it'll fit in my design because uh, these walls are actually I I made it a little bit more compact by pushing the repeaters into these blocks. Because I did have it coming out another block and going around, and um, I'm glad I didn't show you guys that because I would have been a little bit more embarrassed. So the wall is going to be like right there. Obviously, I'm not using jungle wood and stuff like that, but um, that'll be the design like that. So you walk in through the doors, and you'll have another block here. That's that will the wall right there so that'll be uh, like right there and um, 
these blocks were made just to connect this wall like that. Whoop. So uh, let's uh, let's pop on over to the hardcore and uh, I'll see you guys. Well, you know what? Screw it. I could just do it on camera. It doesn't matter. Bam! Hardcore. Here we go. Uh, I just noticed too that I'm still on 1.51. I think. Yeah, 5.1. Um, I'm a little afraid to go to 1.2 or 5.2 because uh, that dude has a block. Give me that block. I don't know where he stole it, but he's gonna stay spawned until he gets rid of it. Okay, that was weird. Um, as soon as I started attacking that zombie, I crashed. So uh, we should go and try to kill him again. And, you know, hope that this time I don't crash. Why don't you come out here to the sun? Hmm? No? Not gonna crash me this time? Okay, that was weird. Um, so yeah, you guys can see here that I got one rail right there and a second one right here. Um, they go to the two projects that I already have set up. Um, I got a couple of iron doors too. I have a roof. Uh, this goes to the Iron Golem Farm. This over here goes to the uh, Zombotron. As you can see it actually. You can see a little bit of the building right there. And um, the pillars are, are very basic right now. Uh, they're built to have two right next to each other for a while. So if we make our way on over here, you can see that I'll be able to power two rails with just that. Uh, I have thought about maybe using redstone blocks because, um, I don't know, I just think that that would look neater, seeing like red dots, you know, going around instead of these uh, redstone torches. Uh, the only problem is that um, the bottom floor here, I, I have these big windows, I'm going to have to um, bust those down and put in the giant pillars for the pistons and stuff. So. Let me just take you a, a quick little tour. It's going to be faster to go to the Iron Golem Farm and back. So we'll just go to that one. As you can see, I don't have anything yet. So I got to kind of push forward and press the button and it, it'll shoot me forward. Um, uh, I did keep the, the rail here in the middle of this road. Just because I wanted to keep utilizing the stone bricks down below as well as um, a good starting point for support beams. And uh, the rail, like I said... A couple of times now. It's built to go both ways. Oh, shoot. Did I bring any glass? No. I keep forgetting to bring glass over here um, to clean up the top here. I did make it out of jungle wood and um, just, I guess, just stone. So it's just jungle wood, logs, and, and planks. And you can see these fellows over here. Well, just one. Uh, I also did figure out the um, problem I had with these guys spawning over here. Uh, at least I figured I think I figured it out. They haven't been spawning for a while. It's because this was all lit It was all lit up with torches and everything like that and this became a spawning ground form as you can see over here is much more bright um, Probably because of this torch right here and so the dude was able to spawn so I'm gonna take out that torch and I guess the, the lights leaking through the walls here so I can't really make that much darker look around for any torches on the ground to get rid of those there we go I think that's pretty good there's no more torches around here on the ground so I have to keep a, an eye on the uh, a careful eye on that but yeah I would have tons of iron golems all around this area and thank God that my sword was able to, to take them out as quickly as I, I as I can um, there was a moment while fighting them that I did have about two hearts and uh, I was pretty scared I, I, was, I was actually pretty pretty damn scared um, it looks like we have a couple over there so I'm gonna head back to the house after I kill that guy and uh, we'll get started on our train okay so we're home back in the uh, in our lovely storage area but we need to pick up three sticky pistons uh, let's make it six uh, just to cover the other two areas there is, I, I did um, notice that there is going to be one area that's not going to have this automated system and that's the front of the the, the, the building because uh, the entrance is all right there so um, we can't do it there we are going to need a couple of repeaters I think three on each side yeah some redstone and um, 
And we're going to need uh, probably a little bit more because I believe... But yeah, all right, I remembered. Not that that's a hard recipe to remember. There we go. So uh, six repeaters, some uh, six sticky pick pick pickings, uh, pistons, some redstone, and two redstone blocks uh, for both sides. It's uh, pretty simple. Uh, actually, let's go upstairs. We're going to sleep. There we go. Um, also, uh, I got a new shovel. Not really super newsworthy, but uh, I put the old one away up in here because it was costing me 37 levels of experience. Um, here, let's uh, let's actually just double check on that. It was it was 37. It could be more. 34 now. 34 for um, just repairing it once, and it was just it's too expensive to keep around. Um, my new shovel is far less expensive it only has efficiency four on it and it's actually way more useful this way uh, i do wish unbreaking was on it because uh that would be very nice i did repair this one twice since uh since the last time why do i have this random rail mm, did i lose a power rail somewhere i can't i don't remember so let's uh let's go build our little automated system up here. Oh shoot, I need a uh, detector rails too. I think I got a couple in here. Five. Uh, it's gonna be enough for one side. Um, you build it with a pressure plate, yeah? A wood pressure plate. So let's get to, I'm gonna try to do this on camera so you guys can see how forgetful I am sometimes. Although you don't need, um, so is a pressure plate, maybe sticks in a pressure plate, maybe a pressure plate and redstone, maybe, uh, you know, I'm going to take a quick look for, look at it. It was a stone pressure plate, so I was on the right track, but, um, just, uh, too, uh, far away in my materials you know wood well, it doesn't matter uh, got a lot more blocks of iron too because of the, uh, the iron golem farm over there doing pretty good uh, which is actually perfect now because I need a ton of iron I blew through all my first um, my first batch of rails which I used to transfer the villagers and well actually but both ways uh, from the first place to their second home to their their final home over there. It uh, it took me a while, but um, had to make a make a new batch for the iron golem farm rail. So we are not keeping this because our new pillar thing is going to be about that big, right? No, I think it's just like that. So what we need to do is um, go back up top and figure out, is this the block? It sure is. Okay. So that's going to be our block where our piston is going to be. Uh, there we go. Get rid of those. Detector rails there and there. And detectors there and there. Do not need that anymore. Uh, I guess we could keep this brace right here just for the sake of, of having it. And we're going to go down to here. That was another thing. I took so much fall damage um, while uh, while doing this because I, I dropped down to pick up materials and everything like that. There was a lot of really stupid calls that I was doing. So, sticky piston here. And then one underneath. Nope, nope, not there. Here. And uh, I just now realized I didn't bring any more smooth stone with me. So uh, replacing uh, this is going to be difficult. So put that back up and put the carts, fence. We'll put everything that we don't need at this particular moment in here. Yeah, that's fine. I got, I got room to, to work and move stuff around now. 
So let's pick those back up. And um, our pistons need to go, yeah, right here. So go back up top so they're facing up. Boop and boop. We'll put our stone there because those are the only ones that matter at the moment because the other one doesn't even have a rail. And there we go. And this guy is going to push that fella. And you're going to push him down onto that line. And there we go. Uh, well, I guess if you can't see the other side, it doesn't matter here. So we will put regular spruce here. And yes, this is correct. Okay, and then we'll put those two like that. There it is. I like how that I'm just saying like nonsense stuff as I'm doing this. Each one of these are on four ticks. And there we go. And that's it. It was pretty simple, yeah? Uh, I mean, if I could do it, I mean, I, I figured this out on my own. I figured everybody else in the world should be able to understand it as well. Um, I think I'm going to leave this window here, though. Mm, I don't know. I think, uh, I think it'll be fine for people to... Uh, they don't really need to see it, but they're not going to be peering in and it's mainly just gonna be me so let's test it out bam perfect so um let's actually let's just take it for a ride to the uh to the farm and we'll see what the ride is on the way back um this is sort of a problem right now i have to have my redstone torches off to the side i think what i'm eventually gonna do uh, because I don't really like that because of moments like this. I, I don't mind it for when there's two tracks next to each other because I could put it right in the middle. But for moments like this where it's a single track, it looks kind of gross. So I think I'm going to throw levers underneath it and turn them on that way. And um, get rid of the redstone torches next to them so they can have blocks on either side. You can see I made a little house for the... Um, for this building as well. I didn't have any sandstone on me and my shovel, that was back when I had my old shovel. I didn't want to keep breaking it. I didn't want to go back to grab a bunch of sandstone and stuff. So I built it with materials I had on hand. And uh, that's what you guys see here is the stuff that I had on hand, which is the same materials as I had before. This was sand um, that I did actually dig out from around here. Um, that was about as much as I was comfortable digging along with the, uh, the border around here. And, uh, you know, kind of make it look a little bit nicer. Nothing different on the inside. Uh, still got the water elevator, and right here is still block 8. I know some people said I should just reverse this whole machine, so I just have to stand here. But it doesn't matter to me either way. Um, I don't mind going in there standing and just waiting. Um, I have figured out a glitch with this that you guys, um, if you guys are using this, you should be aware of. I'll, I'll show you once uh, this guy comes over. Him and his buddy. Uh, I did move a lot of this stuff as well from there into here because I figured the materials here should be be able to access them easy. Now I'm not sure if it's gonna only do this or do this with two people but um, there's sometimes where I'll see a bunch more zombies I'm like oh I'll just let them in. Letting them in We'll sometimes glitch these guys and they'll burst out. Yeah, it probably doesn't do it with two, but when there's uh, when there's a good amount of them, it's a uh, it's a problem. So let's go back home. Finish up our train station. Put this away. Woo! And uh, I'm just gonna do a quick little cut to get to uh, get home. And we're arriving home and. See, it pushes me up, but then I come right back down. So uh, that's working fine. 
we need to make a couple of these half slabs put them right there because when we put our cart down um, it makes it easier to get into it from uh, instead of going in from the back and uh, we need to come back with more of these uh, smooth stone half slabs so let's run home Whee! just because I like using minecarts there's no need to use it in fact I should probably not use it because I do take damage let's uh let's also make some uh, a helmet right yeah helmet or boots helmet definitely a helmet so I think I need one more diamond there we go and let's uh let's hope for something good aqua affinity and protection three okay it's not too bad um it's much better than our unenchanted helmet that we've had for a long time. Um, I'll put that piece of crap in there. Here's all the additional tracks I made. Uh, we came in here for smooth stone. Smooth stone half slabs. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, actually, we need... Let's just take all of them because we're going to have to repair the bottom floor anyways by connecting it. And just because I'm nervous at working at night, I had a creeper blow up um, between the cut of the jungle farm back to here. <laughs> I was killing one next to the train station. He blew up the back half, not the back half, but like a the back corner of the train state, the train station, the uh, where the iron golems go and sit in the water. That place. <laughs> I don't know. Their cage. Their prison. Why not? Okay, that's good. Anderman just kind of flew by there. Let's get rid of that. Put that there. Get rid of this. Oh, right. Have to take out our window here. Our lovely window. There he is. I'm going to go kill him. Uh, oh, shoot. He's already gone again. Trying to kill them every time I see them because, God damn it, he's just cruising. Um, trying to collect Ender pearls. What if I just looked at him? What if I look at him? No, he's gone. He's actually gone. All right, whatever. Screw him. We got a lot of work to do. By a lot of work, I mean a very little amount of work, because this is uh, truly simple. Oops. There we go. Oh, not that block, that block. Place that with a regular block. There we go. I got buttons and stuff in my inventory, which I do not need. And what else? I could put that away. Let's, uh, let's get our detector rails as well up. There we go. Detector rail. Detector rail. And we need uh, our two powered here. And see how simple is this, guys? This is real simple. Whoop. Okay, that goes upside down. One goes there, one goes there. Back upstairs. Boop, boop. Oh, beautiful. This is like a machine. Like a redstone machine, you could say, perhaps. Or you don't. You don't have to say it. Put those two there. Eh. Don't need you anymore because no one's going to see that. Uh, we do need light in here. That's something um, I forgot to put in on the other side because we don't want things spawning in here uh, ever because that would be a pain in the butt. But you, where's our repeaters? One, two, three, four. Whoops. There we go. 
and our two redstone things and we're done um, honestly I, I know it may not seem like much but I am pretty proud of this little contraption because it's something I didn't have to go to yell at Lime Studios for help with it's something um, I did on my own without looking at some other things I was just like you know it'd be cool if there was a way of pushing pistons up and I understand how pistons work so that was uh, step one done right there there we go that actually scared me a little bit the door opening <laughs> but uh, yeah I forgot that I sort of do that when I step on those there we go that's not half bad it looks like a train station all business no fun um, should I get rid yeah I'll get rid of this uh, we could put in some potted plants or something in here. That'll be something. I gotta find some clay first. Uh, let's uh, let's do it out of spruce logs. There we go. We'll put a couple of potted plants there. Make it seem like we care about decor. Um, hmm. Should we do something like that all the way across? Just to kind of make it stand out a bit. Ow. Poop. My axe is getting pretty close to being uh, to being gone. It's been with me for a very long time, uh, so we'll see uh, we'll see what happens with that if we, whenever we make another axe. Uh, the only problem now is that, um, huh? I wonder. I don't think that would look good if we put like a dispenser here with a button on the side of it. Press the button, it shoots out a cart right there for us. That'd, that'd be too much. That'd be just too much. Um, it would be cool to kind of put a pressure plate here so when you stand here it goes and it pops out but it would probably you probably have to hook it up so it pops out here too because this isn't a return track um, okay well let's uh, let's actually well, let's double check this um, this rail over here let's test that side beautiful I had uh, two cards on me anyways Test that side beautiful uh, one thing, whoop, shoot, with this design that uh, I did not mention is that you can't have both um, both cards up. So when one's up, it, it voids the other one. Um, that's not a design choice, but rather just something that happens. Let's just double check these ones. Beautiful. And the reason that I'm using repeaters as well on four ticks is because I need this rail right here to stay powered um, for us to take off and detector rails just don't keep it on they'll keep it on for one track for you to get onto that track and then take off but not two you'll stop on the second one so uh, just keep that in mind unfortunately we cannot put blocks here but that's that's fine I, I can live without it and uh, I should probably do something different with this window uh, that doesn't need to be oh, okay. Well, go bye bye. Doesn't need to be a stair, and to keep with the theme of things, put two there. Oh shoot, I needed that though. That's right. We need that for this. Oh, oh, there we go. All right. Well, that's just gonna have to stay the way it is. I don't have any more powered rails on me. Oh, I do. Okay, three. Beautiful. Should really move all my rails over here. And uh, that's going to do it. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's going to be this episode, guys. I know it's uh, it was super action-packed, but like the last few episodes have been. But um, these things have to be done. And I thought this was pretty neat. I wanted to show you guys it. Uh, oh, I should probably decorate this now. Keep it nice and simple. Make it look elegant. That's uh, where's my dirt? Should put a put a block like that, and then change this one to yeah. There we go. But uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um. Or even if, uh, you know, 
you guys like this little train station thing because uh, I, like I said, I, I, I enjoy it. I think it uh, it turned out great. Whoa, that's my last stair, really? Man, I've used a lot of those. Um, I am probably gonna go through and decorate these pillars a little bit, maybe? I don't know, I think maybe I'll just keep them simple just to save myself some time. Um, maybe we'll go look for some clay to uh, do our flower pots and stuff. Oh, we did that side. Gotta do this side. So I'm gonna finish decorating these things and I'll see you guys uh, for the next hardcore. <laughs>